I've just seen this news headline in the Telegraph. Menopause breakthrough will allow older women to have children after building a career, Dr claims. The revolutionary procedure which is being offered by the fertility expert who pioneered IVF works by tricking women's biological clocks into thinking they are far younger than they actually are. The surgery freezes ovarian tissue at minus 150 degrees C. It is then stored in an ice bank until women reach the menopause when it is then thawed and transplanted back into the body years later when it will then kickstart women's natural hormones and delay the menopause. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that the average age that a woman goes through the menopause is 51. So this raises the question for me, should women over the age of 50 be having children anyway? I mean, let's say, for example, that a woman aged 55 gets pregnant through this treatment. She'll already be 65 at retirement age when the child is still only 10 years old. And by the time the child is ready to leave home, she'll be well into her 70s. I mean, she's probably not going to live long enough to see her grandchildren grow up. But even without that issue, I must admit I am a bit sceptical of fertility treatments anyway. Because, let's face it, we have too many people in the world anyway. And we're keeping people alive until older and older and older. And I just think that if some people can't have babies, maybe that's fine. You know? Because there are a lot of children who end up without parents, you know, or from broken homes or whatever, that could do with being adopted. So if there is a couple that is struggling to have children, maybe they should just adopt. I know it's not the same as having your own children, your own flesh and blood, but if we help everybody who wants to have children but can't have children, then maybe just the population of the world is just going to go up and up and up and up. But anyway, that's not the main issue here. The main issue here is, should the health service be paying for women over the age of 50 to have children? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, if you liked this video, why not click the like button? And if you'd like to see more videos like this in future, click subscribe too. Until next time, I wish you the very best of health.